Well, I think overall, I think uh, Nicola's defense has been um, a real positive. And I think you, you have to get past the eye test with Nicola, you know, because I think most people just um, think of great defensive players as a guy who's blocking a shot um, or just making a great athletic play. Nicola does it differently. He has a tremendous IQ. He's got great anticipation. He's got unbelievable hands for deflections, blocks. He's got unbelievable feet for deflections. Um, and uh, to your point, Miami, they're going to run a lot of pick and rolls. I think they'll lead the playoffs in double drags set per game, uh, as well as just over 50 direct screen and rolls per game with Jimmy handling the majority of those. So through 16 games now, people put Nicola in a just a, a crazy amount of pick and rolls. And we, I think, do a pretty good job of mixing up our coverages, mixing up our levels. Sometimes he's up, sometimes he's down, sometimes we switch. You know, we got into in the Lakers series, um, Nicola switching on to LeBron at times. And, you know, when you first hear that, it doesn't sound like, well, there's no way you're going to switch Nicola on to LeBron. But he actually did a pretty good job at times. So I think his defense is underrated. Um, and I think his maturation in the eight years, you know, I think there's been a big part of it as well, him understanding that, uh, I have to be the best defensive I can, player I can be to help this team become the best team that they can be. And he doesn't shy away from that responsibility.